is Red Feather from Grepax. In this skating live video, we will be showing you how to add animation utilizing an effect called Rotate and Shear. And then the effect Distort. These Cadian Live effects were utilized while creating the animation you are seeing. Open Cadian Live. As you can see, we are using version 1912.3 of Cadian Live. Also, take note we have imported all of our videos and or images we will be utilizing for this Kading Live example. So bring in the video or images you would like to place your Kading Live animation into, place them on the timeline, making any necessary edits. Also notice we have placed a partial clip at the end of our Kading Live to be placed animation, this represents an ongoing portion of the video, if you will. Where the animation meets, we will call this the landing spot, if you will. Once this is done in KDN Live, go to the effects list and type rotate. Grab the rotate and shear, placing it into the video portion to be animated. Highlight the video so as the Kadian Live properties windows appears for the rotate and shear. Notice we already have a value set in the rotate and shear Z axis bar. We found this Kadian Live value to be good for us, although your choice could be different for one reason or another. So now let us expand to full screen and give our Kadian Live animation a playback. So now that we have seen this up in operation, let us examine a few other Kadian Live rotate and shear animations. Let us try Rotate X animation with the same value of 38. Now that we see what the animation does and have chosen one of the KDN Live animations, it is time to find the proper landing spot for the animation. This can be difficult at times. So first, with the Kading Live Animation X, notice we can move our timeline marker to different positions. But also, right below the project monitor, we can utilize the frame by frame function. Once an area is found where, as there is no jump or as little as possible, for the adjoining Kadian Live video, this is the proper landing spot. Once this is found, we can grab the adjoining Kadian Live video on the timeline, placing it on top of the animated portion and give it a playback to assure that the proper landing spot was achieved. So now let us take a look at our found landing spot in relation to other Kadian Live animated accesses. Well, as you may have noticed, that landing spot works great for all of them. So now let us move on to the, the distort. First, remove the Kadian Live rotate and shear. In the effects list, type distort. Grab the Kading Live distort effect, placing it into the video on the timeline. 
then highlight so as to see the properties windows for the sort effect. Notice in the Kading Live effect, there are two adjustable bars, amplitude and frequency. We have chosen to use an amplitude of 312 and a frequency of 12. Yours could be different depending upon how much or how less you wish to you wish the animation to have. Once you have chosen your Kading Live animation values, give it a playback. If your Kading Live animation values are to your liking, it is then time to find the proper landing spot. This may be slightly more difficult finding the proper landing spot for the Kading Live to store animation for a video. But the same process used for the animation rotate and shear can be used by adjusting the timeline marker and or utilizing the frame by frame function underneath the project monitor. Once you have found the landing spot for your Kading Live animation, give it a final playback. Now let us move on to something a bit different. For the next part of this Kading Live example, we imported an animation frame. We used the last frame only. And you may notice Kading Live recognized the animation function as it plays in the video. This animation frame was created in Krita. It is a PNG with a clear background. And as you can see, we have the Kading Live effect rotate and shear that we will use for the animation feature with a value of 38 on the X animation axis. Placing it on top of the video we wish it to appear in on our Kading Live timeline. This time, in order to find the landing spot, we grab the image, adjusting it left or right to find its landing spot. Although, the other procedures shown can be used for adjustment on the Kading Live timeline. It just depends on ease and or preference. Once the proper Kading Live landing spot has been found, give it a playback to assure it is the proper landing spot. For our next Kading Live example, we have another created PNG text image that we created in Krita, this time with a color background. For this, we start out with an amplitude of 900 and a frequency of 16. So let us try to find the best landing spot for our PNG, Kading Live Animated Text, using the same procedures as by sliding the adjoining image and or the frame by frame function or moving our timeline marker. Next, for this Kading Live example, let us explore different amplitudes and frequencies. Notice the outcomes can be pretty crazy, <laughs> but in some cases, quite amazing. Notice we have placed the amplitude value at 79 and the frequency value at 1,941 for our final result. 
of this part of our Acadian Live example. Next, for our Acadian Live example, as you can see, we are utilizing the effect rotate and shear. With a value of 12 in the animation X axis. Also, you may have noticed there is a minor color issue due to the rotation of the image. For best results, first straighten the image by moving the timeline marker so as not to see any of the black Kading Live background. Then, in the Rotate and Shear Effects Properties window, scroll down in order to see the color picker. Click on the Kading Live color picker, then go to the image where it represents the best color for your image and click. Now notice the Kading Live background color bar should now be the same color you had clicked on upon your image. Once this is done in KDN Live, give it a playback to assure the proper match of the background color. Now, as you can see, with our image and trying other KDN Live animation rotations, the landing spots are good. So there is no need for further manipulation here. In our next Kading Live example, utilizing the rotate and shear effect, I saw and stated in, a, in our Schwartz video that we created this text with a clear background. But I was mistaken, and come to find out, we had just matched the proper background color of Kading Live. For this reason, there is no need to utilize the color picker. As you can see, we are using a value of 12 in our Kading Live Rotate X animation. Next, we will use the same image for the next part of this Kading Live example with the distort effect. As you can see, we are using an amplitude of 559 and 31 for the frequency. We hope you have enjoyed this Kading Live tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber? Ringing that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I mean, ladies and gentlemen, after all, it is free. The beginning and the end of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu One. Thank you in advance. I am out.